Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in the previous videos, two videos, we have seen in the first video, why do we really need comparable and comparator? As in, if we don't use it, what error the Java will throw on our faces? In second video, we have seen how to rectify that error with two methods. That is how to implement comparable. Secondly, we have seen how to imp implement comparator. And now in this video, we are going to see the differences between comparable and comparator and their advantages and some of disadvantages. So the very first thing we have to consider here is that this particular uh, arrays dot sort right so this is uh, nothing but using comparable and this is nothing but using comparator so the very first difference you can see here itself as a very visible dif uh, difference is that this particular uh, arrays dot sort or collections dot sort that is the client way of ordering things needs nothing to be given as an argument and automatically calls compare to method of this comparable interface to implement your sorting but in the case of comparator is i don't want to use the natural ordering of ordering every object with id i want to sort my objects with name then i have to give this as an argument so the very first difference you have to provide a particular uh, argument if you are using comparator and comparable does not need to be passed as an argument at all it is automatically picked up by uh, arrays.sort or collections.sort method so the first difference is clear second very uh, very important difference that you will always answer here is that comparable is nothing but a java.lang package uh, interface that is uh, by default everyone will uh, understand that for uh, having the particular class if you have to sort it you will always use comparable and hence there is no extra import can you see there is only one import here because i have implemented comparator also in this class so there is no extra import required for comparable there is one extra import required for comparator though which is not because it is nothing uh, here in java language package which is automatically be imported it is in java utility method uh, package so what does utility particular package contains all those utility methods and classes and interfaces so utility method is nothing but a package which have extra classes and interfaces to enhance your class capabilities so that is why it is in comparator is in a uh, utility not in java.lang so very important difference you should remember this the third difference here is that there is in comparable you have only single way of ordering that is written either this dot id or you can either do compare with only the name uh, not with the multiple ways so uh, the compare to will have the natural ordering that is how i always want my particular object to be sorted that is i want my employee object always to be sorted with id but now if i have to enhance my capability of employee object i can uh, create n number of comparators like name comparator address comparator any number of uh, comparator and explicitly provide that here in the argument so that is why you can have only one way of natural ordering this is called as natural ordering why because always by default it will be taken but the comparator can have multiple ways of sorting a particular object this was the third uh, difference and the fourth and the last and important difference is that the source code is changed that is this was my employee class right initially do you remember when we have employee class we did not have we have only till here we did not have this compare to method and even this comparator i can put in different class i don't have to put it in employee class only i can create another abc class i can create this comparator of type employee it will it will understand that this comparator is going to sort employee class with a particular name comparison so i don't need to touch my source code at all but in case of comparable you have to implement the comparable interface and you have to implement this compare to method that is why your source code is changed but in case of comparator your source code is not changed or even if it is changed it is not in the way that you have to implement anything or do anything with that it's just a simple static method so that's all about the main differences in comparable versus comparator which is natural ordering and custom ordering which is the the very important difference so if you still want have uh, want more differences and you want to know more about this particular comparable comparator please let me know in the comment section thank you